Stop throwing away your money. You wonder how you can reduce waste and save money? Here is how. So you want to make a living, a full-time living of your fashion design. Why do you then waste your money and throw away bills of money if you can avoid waste and save money? That's why, hello, hello, fashion people. It's me, Gabriel Baradet, again, fashion designer, sustainable fashion designer since 15 years with a shop in Vienna. Um, I'm doing this for a very long time and I would like to guide you and help you to save some money and be more sustainable. And that's why I'm jumping right into this video. So how can you um, save some money and don't produce any waste or less waste, let's say. So the first thing is, and that's always something that um, in this um, sustainable fashion field is, um, I don't hear that anymore, is, or I never heard it, or I don't hear it a lot, let's say. Everybody focusing on um, production and uh, on um, uh, material itself, but not so many people focus on the design part. How can you be more sustainable and save money with design? Clearly, there are some possibilities. One way would be, for example, zero waste. So for everybody who doesn't know who what is zero waste, zero waste patterns are patterns where there is no any extra cutting left if you cut the whole garment. You have to um, make the pattern the way that it's um, not producing any waste. For example, this is only one way you can do it. Um, but uh, in the end of the day, you will save um, all this waste that's going to be produced when you cut the garment. So uh, zero waste, deal with zero waste. I have done a lot of projects with zero waste. It can be very, uh, very great for your design. So please don't um, miss out on that. It's a very good uh, thing. And speaking of design, for example, um, you can invent things where you um, take out every, uh, uh, for example, fuses that, that are made mainly of polyester, for example, and invent something so the um, garment is stabilized, for example. I did a very great pro project, for example, many years ago, uh, sustained the sustainable suit where I completely took out every part, like the fusing and the shoulder pads and everything, and replaced it with um, stitching, top stitching, a very special technique. So there are ways that you can uh, focus on design. Uh, the easiest and the way you can start is, for example, uh, zero waste, which, I'm, which I mentioned before. And that brings me to number two. Ask your production, and they will be a very astonished, but ask your uh, production that they collect every single leftover from your production of the um, real garments. There is always some cutting left waste, and you can produce belts, bags, patches, whatsoever. So um, in this 15 years, I collected a lot of of um, uh, product uh, waste, let's call it waste, <laughs> um, from the cutting. And um, in the end of the day, I did a lot of products and I could sell this product. So you're saving this money. I mean, you're throwing away gold dust, let's say, because um, every single piece of fabric, you can do something. It's an original material, do something with it. Um, there is also this uh, thing that we do once a year uh, for design students, for example. They can come to our shop and we give them uh, the, uh, we, we sell the, the, the leftovers, basically, or we give it for free. So there is no waste and they are very happy because they only need maybe a little tiny scrap things for a um, portfolio or something uh, or a piece of a collar or whatever. So you this is this is uh, worth uh, something and they give something and we uh, we we sell them the the uh, fabric leftovers or something like that so please be very careful with your leftovers of the real material 
Third, and this is a very, very important thing, embrace technology. Uh, there are great 3D softwares, for example, Clo3D or Blender. If you like a video on that specifically, I can do um, great video on that. If you like, just comment um, or, or let me know. Uh, we can do a video on that. That's no, absolutely no problem. Um, why embrace technology? For example, in Clo3D, you can do everything from uh, the design process until the pattern. Uh, and there are a lot of best practices uh, where uh, designers, um, they, they make, um, they call it avatar. So it can be, for example, for a special client, the real measurements, and they put it in this avatar, and there is no pre uh, twiling before you sew the real garment. So you can sew from the original garment, and it will save you twilling uh, fabric and so on, tryouts. It will fit because you saw it already on the 3D. So embrace technology. That's a very important thing. I know learning 3D software is a headache. I'm struggling. I'm also struggled with it, yeah. So, so I know it, but please keep it the faith. It's worth the effort. Trust me, it's worth the effort. And if you ever need any um, motivational kick, to come to my channel. <laughs> I will motivate you. So um, that was number three: embrace technology. Number four: um, don't print. <laughs> what do I mean by that? The only thing you need to print is a is your name card a little name card that's all you don't need fancy catalogs you don't need any i don't print anything the, everything is digital because all this fancy great printed things also hang tags don't print them cut it from scraps of uh, uh, paper or whatever I, I never i never never print something because it's um going to be everything in waste and it's also your money if you print it's costly a lot it will cost you a lot 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 money and it will go to trash so why uh, produce trash and pay for it that doesn't make any sense so don't print anything the only thing i would recommend is a name card this is not so expensive and it's really worth because then people know what you're doing you can also there are for example ways where you can print a um little um, QR code on a metal or wood and people uh, just take it with their phone and they scan it so then you don't even need a um, your name card because they have it already in their phone which is great because a name card can also be lost this they can't get lost because it's already saved in their phone so think about um, things like that so don't print any fancy catalogs and whatsoever it's going to be uh, yeah, waste in the end of the day. And last but not least, one tip. Um, if you are doing a production, for example, on shirts, normal shirts, uh, the production will send it to you each by each in a plastic container, wrap, foil, something like that. And uh, we unwrap it, we hang it, and then we have the plastic waste and it will go to trash. That's why I asked, for example, my production to put each um, uh, shirt in a stack and then they put it in a um, um, hanger, in a plastic hanger that we can reuse, a uh, cloth bag or something like that from from uh, with a zipper that we can reuse. So in the end of the day, because in the end of, the, or what you also can do is um, uh, reuse these plastic bags and send it again to the production. They will, and ask them to put it again. So uh, try to reduce the waste from the packaging. That's a very good thing. Um, so everything will be uh, wrapped and it will be heavier and you will have more costs of that uh, in, the, in the sanding of the garments or whatever. So reduce that. Do reusable things. This is very important if you get something for your shop. Try to reduce this waste in the um, sanding process, let's say. This is uh, something that a lot of people are not thinking of. But um, if we send something from A to B, there is a lot of waste involved. And that's also your money. You have to pay it in the end, the production or shipment costs and so ever. So reduce that waste in the shipment. That were my uh, tips on how to save some money and be more sustainable. I hope you got some great inspiration and some good tips from that. 
uh, leave a comment, uh, like the video, and I'm always happy to answer your questions. Have a great day.